camera. Why would we use a thermal imaging camera inside of a ghost hunt? Right, we're looking for cold spots. Oh, cool. Exactly. Um, so with this, this is a FLIR. So this is what firemen would use to actually jump into a burning building with. This is the real deal. This is not a phone, a phone app you guys are going to be able to go home and download, just so you guys know. Um, so with that said, uh, we are looking, I, you guys should be able to see me, red, orange, and yellow guy. And yes, this is going to work in my favor because it's split right down the middle. I'm the hottest thing inside the frame right now. Um, yes, that was a joke, everybody. Lighten up. Let's have some fun. Um, so... <laughs> We got to get you to smile a little bit more. Um, so, but again, you guys are like so quiet over here. Um, but anyway, we're looking for the cold spots. They're going to be blue and black. I want them to either take shape or to start moving on their own. That's what I'm looking for when I capture things out of this camera. That's what we've caught in the past. Hopefully, that's what we'll capture again. When I say take shape, head, shoulders, moving arms and legs. You guys got the point. Um, I'd like to repeat that just because, just so you know exactly what we're looking for when you guys are spot checking this for yourselves. Uh, so, I always love also love to give you guys stats. I do this five to seven nights a week, 365 days a year. Uh, so I do measure a lot of different things. With the, with the FLIR, I get about four or five pieces per year that I would put my stamp of approval on, not per episode. You're not on a TV show. This is not a YouTube channel. Again, four to five pieces per year. If we're not recording with this, we won't capture it. Um, that's the beauty of this guy. So with this one, Yolanda's actually asked to kind of so with this particular location, I'm usually looking at the walls in this location to mm -hmm. see if anything is going to start to move because the walls are going to hang on to the, the day's sun. Right. Um, so that is unfortunately a downgrade for me just because somebody broke my upgrade a few weeks okay. ago. So waiting mm -hmm. on the insurance to cover it. Right. But the upgrade would actually give you uh, a blue dot to bounce around the screen mm -hmm. and it will show you the coldest spot in the frame at the moment. It's pretty right. cool stuff. Yeah. Um, so I usually look for 15 plus degree temperature drops. Um, and then of course, are there, is there any movement? Uh, is it taking shape into a person? We've had yeah. full blue people walk right towards us and not even know that they were there. Mm -hmm. um, with the other one, so super cool stuff. Again, like, do I follow up with this in real time a lot? Oh. Not necessarily. Oh, wait. Oh. So it's also going to use anything that's in the frame with it as kind of a contrast. Yeah. Right. So I'm sure you've seen it fluctuate quite a bit already. Oh yeah. Um, but I love using the FLIR. I just mm. I can't wait to get the upgrade back just right. because of the, the right. temperature gauge. Okay. Have you had anything interesting coming out of your... It's hard to listen to you and them at the same time. Yeah. Oh. Actually, having a personal view is a good point of reference to have. So. Right, okay. Those are your own people you brought. Yeah, okay, I know. Film them. <laughs> right. Any other readings above 8.3? Nope. I had a 8.0. 7.1 hey, do you mind if I sit on these rocks so I can focus better? Do it. My spirit, my spirit just told me do it. All right. All right. Let's sit down, guys. You want to sit down? All right. Let's sit down, guys. All right. All right. You guys ready? see what we get. <clears throat> oh. Oh, what are you? I'm watching. Mm. Mm. I had a white head right coming toward me. It was a right head, a, a white head, and it peeked into the right side of this uh, thermal, and it came right up to the camera. It was right here. It walked up to the camera, and then it peeked its head back in sideways. Okay. Is that relevant? There is a light over there. Oh no, this, this, all right. The light would be white. No, it was, uh, okay. you'll see it. I'm always a debunking first. Yeah, so I know. Take notes to take a look. Oh. Get out of there. Uh... All right, let's see. Hmm. All right, can you come back? Can you go follow up with Lily? Hmm? 
so cold anyway. Yeah, I know, babe. Thank you. <coughs> Alright, can you come back and do that again? You did. Do it again. Can you do it again? Please? Eighteen. Woo. Nice. Wow, where was it eighteen? Right here. It, it, you know, it's, it's like it goes up and then it goes Right. 18.0! Yeah. I just yelled it. Mm. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna need you to come back. Can you come back and, and show yourself? Please. Oh, my speaker died, damn it. Damn it. Why is it not holding the charge? Ugh. All right. All right. Can you walk back over here, please? Ugh. Remember what this lady's name was again? There we go. I'm sitting, thank you. Can you walk back over here? Show yourself again? Come on, walk over here. Can you walk over here? Show yourself on this camera. Do what you did a few minutes ago. Anything on the ovulus? Huh? Anything on the ovulus? No, really quiet. Really? Oh, okay. Tub. Tub. Mm. 
kids? What about the kids? How many kids did she have? Ten. Ten? Did you hear that? Oh. I said don't, don't talk about anything about them, but you can ask the number. Okay, excuse me for that. Are you kidding me? Uh. We going dead? Yep. No. Damn it. Too much action. Okay, once. Keep the keep it down while the truck's going. Oh, that said it? Oh, yeah. Oh. Alright, let's try this again. 14. 14.9. Yep. 14.9. 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 14 
Eliza, can you walk back over this way? Jeez. Spirit box is like nothing, automatic nothing's coming through now, but static. And it's usually chirping oh, away. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's bring everybody back to the back again. Kind of show you how it's tied together. A little bit of easier to do that. Let me, uh. I got. Oh. Oh, Lord. She didn't trick it. Thank you, honey. Gun battle. Uh, I got gun game. battle twice. Gun battle? Okay. Gun. And that came out of your necrophonic? Yep. Uh, take a look at that. So welcome to Philadelphia Alley, everybody. Anything kind of a word? Okay. Uh, you're Obulous. Looking for the no. Really? Here. So in Very room. quiet. Wow. So any words? Nope. So Not yet. Not yet. No, no new words. Okay. All right. Welcome to Philadelphia Alley. This place you should call Duelers Alley. This is where some of the duels used to occur. Uh, so, I say some of the duels mm. because dueling was illegal back in the 1700s. They had to find hiding spots. This just happened to be one of those hiding spots. Uh, looks like we're going to have a nice large group coming through. Uh, uh. I thought there was another group behind them. Uh, so, this location, every ghost tour comes down here. We all tell the same damn story. I just give you a few extra details just because we're ghost hunting. We're not doing a campfire marshmallow kind of cheesy ghost tour. Um, so 
Candy already knows that she's going to be looking for the letters R I, so I'll explain that as we kind of move along. Um, I'm just looking at your spirit box, make sure you're still moving. Yep, you're still in this position. Hi. So, here's how this goes. Uh oh, Madison's got the phone out, that means she's getting a lot of stuff. Normally, when I see the phones out and they're typing away, they don't want to forget what they've heard. You know what you're doing, by the way? Oh, she's using Spirit Talker. That one's a good one, too. So, this location, here's how it goes. A doctor moves down here from Rhode Island. His name is Dr. Joseph Brown Lag. In the event that our two Spirit Fox listeners hear the song Brown Eyed Girl while we're here, it's not coincidence. It's part of his name. We get it all the oh. time. Um, but anyway, that's why, part of the reason why you're looking for the letters R-I is because of the Rhode Island. We're going to talk more about that in just a second. But he moves down here because he's supposed to get married to his fiance, Amanda. Amanda just inherited a lot of money from her dead parents. She has an attorney helping her out with all of this cash flow that she just got. The attorney thinks that Dr. Ladd is just after Amanda's money. He tells Amanda to get rid of the doctor. The doctor moves down here to Charleston to prove that he's not after her money. He's making his own. He's going to start his practice down here. On his way into town, he had a postman that set him up to be robbed and killed. It wasn't a very good start to his stay here in Charleston. I try to speed through this one because it is super warm down here. I'll try to be as quick as I can. Oh, I'm in menopause too, so it's boring. I mean, I'm like drenched. So we're all here. I have menopause right now. Okay. All right. As soon as you mentioned his name, he came up with a present in his head. Okay. So. On his way into town, this coachman set him up to be robbed and killed, but somebody was walking by and seeing what was about to happen. The person walking by, his name is Ralph Isaacs. Do those initials sound familiar to you? It's exactly why we have that little Ouija board device, is for this location. I was getting the letters RI all the time on regular spirit boxes. I bought that thing to verify it. We've had it about seven or eight times in the past year since I've had it. Um, only around Ralph's name, not the Rhode Island. So now I know who it belongs to. See, it's all about verification. Moving yep. on. Ralph tells the doctor, dude, I know this guy, the coachman. He's going to try to kill you. Come with me to 59 Church Street. I got friends there. They'll rent your room. You'll be safe. Doc took him up on that offer, and the two gentlemen became friends. Now, the longer the doctor stays here, the more money he's making. He's proving his point. He's not after her money. He's making his own. She gets wind of this from Rhode Island, and she's coming down so they can be married. Dr. Ladd then became known as the Whistling <laughs> Doctor. This is why I hate the damn story. It's a giant cliche. No matter what haunted city you guys are ever going to visit in the future, we all whistling. have a cliched whistling ghost. Yeah. Ours just happens to be a doctor. Right. Why are we in Dooler's Alley then? Mm. Let's kind of get into that. Dr. Ladd and Ralph go see plays together. They can't sit next to each other because the doctor makes more money. That's the hierarchy of Charleston. He gets mm. better seats. So they go see Richard III one night, and on their way home, they're discussing the new actress that they just saw that was here in town. They'd never seen her before. Doc thought she was great. Ralph thought she was horrible. They start arguing, and then Ralph starts... What? Oh, I hear it going off over here. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I asked him what it was saying. No. Uh, he's, he's really missing out on, on a yeah, lot. Like, he is. I don't know that he's grabbed the He doesn't know how to do it. He don't know how to use it. So, um, where was I? Oh, so they started arguing over that actress, and then Ralph is insulting the doctor's fiance back on the Rhode Island. It got really ugly between the two guys, and they went their separate ways. I already told you Ralph has friends around town. He goes to the newspaper. Places an ad in the paper telling the whole city of Charleston what he thinks of the doctor. Oh, kind of shit. a you know, disgrace to society kind of shit. Oh, um, Doc, Doc saw the ad but rebuttaled with, let's go to Jeweler's Alley. Somebody's mm. going to die. All this started over an actress. I'd just like to point that out one last time. So the two gentlemen came down here, back to back. They took mm. their ten paces away from each other. Oh, wow. They turned. Doc points his gun in the air and mm. shoots. He did not want to kill his friend. He just wanted to have the courage to show up to the fight. Mm. Ralph, however, has his one bullet in his flint lock and he puts it in the kneecap on mm. the doctor. The doc didn't die. He fell to the ground. His friends picked him up, took him home to 59 Church Street, where he died 10 days later, November 6th of 1786. I'm sorry, November 2nd of 1786, after refusing medical treatment. I'm going to point out two things. It's 1786. Gunshot right. wounds back then, a lot different than now. Secondly, he's a doctor. He probably just thought he had lead poisoning and tried to bleed it out himself, but he failed, obviously, because right. he died. Now, every ghost tour that comes down here, which is all 338 of them, we all come down here and say, listen for the whistles. We have three cameras recording right now, plus my voice recorder. If we're going to capture a disembodied whistle, more than likely it's going to come up on one of those four devices. Right. Um, that's the beauty of it. We are going to have a tour. I think it's going to go all the way through. Uh, so we're going to switch the seats for them. All right. Let me call you. We don't want to ruin the story for these guys, so we're going to let them pass through before I continue on. Oh, you're fine. How are you? Good. You're good. Yeah. 
Right. So, here's what I'm going to tell you guys. If you're going to come down here on your own and try to capture those whistles for yourself with your own voice recorder I'm from coming your phone, down here later with the DR60. Just remember, well, she's got a special DR60. Most people aren't going to know what that is. But, um, well, <laughs> most people right. know the story that, mm. that are down here all the time. Right. Everybody that walks by Cumberland, Park Queen Street, we all throw a whistle down this alley. Mm. It's just something we do here. Um, here comes somebody. So, um, kind of keep that in perspective when you guys are walking through here on your own. Come okay. on through, guys. All right. Now, with that said, I will tell you that I've actually been thrown out of here before. So let's kind of get into that. <laughs> That's the fun part of the story. Um, and you'll probably appreciate this since you work down here from time to time. Uh, the alley didn't go all the way through the way we came in. There used to be a wall up there before this was Dueler's Alley. The reason why is because this is where they kept the livestock for the city of Charleston. Uh, it used to be called Cow Alley. Uh, so why am I telling you this? That means that the bricks down on the other side, way down by Queen Street, are older than the ones you're standing on. Those bricks are sun-dried bricks from slave children. There's mm. a full handprint from a slave child down there, and fingerprint swipes and others. And I used to take my groups all the way through for a history lesson, because there's nothing paranormal about that damn brick with the handprints in it. Remember right. how I told you I feel about cemeteries? Right. That's the last place you're going to find that kid. Mm. However, November 26, 2020, my entire group of 10, I take them down there for their history lesson, they all stop, and they're all huddled around the damn brick waiting for something to happen. I know nothing's going to happen. I'm trying to shoo them along because we're also standing outside the kitchen window of the beautiful mansion at the end of the alley. I'm trying to be respectful, not realizing we were out of bounds for tours. Mm. The new owner of that mansion came out screaming. Mm. My daughter thought it was hysterical because she was on the tour that night and her father's getting yelled at. She was all about it. Mm. Yeah, we moved on. The next day was Thanksgiving. I don't tour on Thanksgiving because I worked in upper management for Walmart before I started doing this and you guys like to fight over towels on Thanksgiving. You scarred <laughs> me for life, I promise you. Um, so the next day was the 28th. I called my partner that I had at the time, and I told him what happened, and he started laughing just like my daughter did. He's like, dude, you aren't allowed to go down halfway. It's residential past that. He's like, you gotta reroute your group. So what I told my group that night, I, I don't believe in the next story, guys. I've never had anything happen over there. Uh, I'm not into pirates, I'm into vampires, uh, and we're actually skipping the pirate story tonight because we're monitoring that location now. But the point of the matter is, uh, before we left the space, somebody with a spirit box heard the name Anne, and I didn't tell them which pirate we were gonna be investigating, which is the famous female pirate, Anne Bonnie. So it's kind of like, well, hot damn, that's pretty cool. We go up around the corner. I told them what I did know about pirates in Charleston, which wasn't much because I only had a few hours of research. And somebody else heard the number 300 coming out of another spirit box. I don't know what it means. I wrote it down. We were there November 28th of 2020. And Bonnie's trial for piracy was November 28th of 1720. The exact 300th anniversary of her pirate oh, trial. Wow. I've done more research on pirates because, again, pirate stories, have they come from pirate lore. That's a problem for the guy with the master's degree in writing. I need facts and data. Pirate stories are written 100 years mm -hmm. after the golden age of piracy. That's a big deal for people trying to research this. So, again, I, I was actually quite mad when they started monitoring the location where we would normally do that investigation. And I had to come up with, okay, I know that there's a lot of stories over here. What can we do? And they we're still in June. So we're going to be going up to a cemetery, um, and the camera that David's holding is going to be the major feature because we're going to be dealing with an apparition. I'm going to tell you what the story behind this apparition is and why we're looking for it. Um, just know that every ghost tour ends their tour there because of that apparition, uh, but they don't have equipment like us. Uh, they basically have the apparition on a tablet, and it's just their show and tell for the end of their night. Um, so we're going to go up and around the corner. We may have to wait a turn or two. Um, in the meantime, I will tell you what we're looking for out of those cameras, but all three cameras um, will be going right up to the gate, and hopefully we're going to capture something, even if it's only going to show up on one. It'll teach me what the other two are incapable of doing, uh, if you guys are seeing my point about studying the paranormal, guys. It's right. not always going to be the direct answer. Right. Um, talk to me. What have we heard along the way or since we've been here? Tommy, have you gotten anything? Mm. He's like, ah, I'm not answering anything. Yeah. Uh, any other words, Derek? No. I can't believe that's well, quiet. Mute. What do you got going on with your two devices? Uh, I've been mostly using this. When you said that the doc died after 10 days, he said my life ended fast. Mm. When they were talking about how bad the actress was, it said bad. Okay. And uh, then it said 12. And now it says you're respectful. Uh,
Yeah. I know, I was getting nauseous. Yep. Mm. It's really a slow night. Where is everybody? Okay, we're going to the cemetery. Who are we looking for? Who? Guys, your battery's going fast. Mm, really hurting, really hurting. Mm. I didn't know we were this close to a cemetery. Mm. Who died at the cemetery that we're gonna talk about? At least we don't have to go far when we go home. Right. St. Philip's Church. Look at this tree. That's cool. Oh, is this a cemetery? Sure is. Wow. Looks like it. Well, no, that looks like... Oh, I don't know. Who's at the cemetery that we're looking for? Hmm? Damn. Your hand is covering it. The camera's in the lower left. There you go. Uh, Try now. Okay. So, now with mm. Sue, she actually dies six days after her stillborn child. Mm. So it's a very sad story. And yes, I'm always telling oh. you guys about dead kids. Uh, but here's why this place is so significant. 1987, 99 years later, uh, somebody we had a local photographer. His name was Henry Reynolds. He is taking pictures of all of our cemeteries, and he captures a full apparition inside of one of his photographs. It's 1987. He doesn't have the tech that we have now. Right. He has to send it to Kodak. Mm. Kodak can only prove the kind of camera that he said that it came out of and the fact that the picture was not altered. This picture is actually cursed to females. It's part of the reason why I didn't always tell this story. So, I'm going to show you guys the picture. What I am going to ask of you is that none of the females touch the damn tablet. Uh, the females that handle it in a even a tablet or a phone kind of mentality type of format, mm. same symptoms we talked about at the beginning. Headache, nausea, dizziness. Females that are pregnant and handling it, it's not going to be a good pregnancy based off the gist of the story that being a stillborn child. Um, so again, I do this for a living, guys. Again, I'm not like trying to like put scare tactics into you. I don't want to be the guy where somebody had a great honeymoon and nine months later, I cursed your family. So I tell every single group regardless of who's in it. Um, so, by the way, uh, Sue's grave, for those of you with the cameras, you guys see the cross uh, headstone yes. way in the further back? Yep. Sue is just to the left, one more row behind that. Uh, we were actually closer to her when we were back in Philadelphia Alley than we are over here. Um, so I'm going to go around while everybody's kind of, you know, getting some footage over here. Uh, we'll take probably another three to five minutes worth of footage because, again, every ghost tour stops here as their big finale. Um, I let them have it, and we'll get out of their way, and I'll explain our last two stops uh, of what's going to happen with those locations. Uh, so let's see. Just so you guys know, the two cameras right here. Here is your photograph that was taken. Your apparition is right here. You're looking at a woman praying mm -hmm. over her own grave with the baby basket right mm -hmm. next to her. And that was in front of the cross or uh, it's behind it? On, it's on the other side. So she would, gotcha. like, from this angle, she would be facing us. Okay. Here is the full picture that you mm. took, just so you guys know. Your apparition is right here. You're looking at a woman crying over her own grave, and then the baby basket is right next to it. So again, this is usually, like, in the top 100 apparitions mm. we've ever caught. Full picture. A lot of people miss the baby basket. I was looking to point that out. So again, even clarifying it on a computer, you could see the damn reason. Right. 
Lily, did you get a chance to see this thing? I got mine off. Too much Remember going on. We're walking over here. Um, I got six, twenty, twelve. So oh six, twenty, and twelve. I guess. Oh uh, six, oh four, oh seven. I did come down here because Father's Day, I took the day off because I'm a dad. Um, so I took the night off. So I knew that I wasn't going to be down here. So the night after the 15th floor, I uh, my office is right around the corner. I came down here at like 3 in the morning. I brought the camera that David's using. And I hear jingling of keys. Mm. And then, hey, went to go watch the camera because I only had a minute and eight seconds of footage. And I didn't know if it was like somebody monitoring the grounds because of what goes on mm. here. And uh, there's nothing there. Absolutely nothing. Me talking. No sound. No. Nope. Yeah. Not to me. I got, uh, can I show you something yeah. that I uh, got from Savannah, Georgia when I went ghost hunting last night? So, uh, have you heard of the Moon River Brewery? Yes. Yeah. Wow, for good. Wow, for good. Yeah, for good. Oh, okay. So I have, I was in there taking in like a bunch of flash pictures and like with my camera on my phone because I wasn't really getting anything with the EMF reader or the camera that I had. And this is one of the pictures that I took. Uh, I didn't look at any of these until I got back to the hotel at 3 o'clock in the morning. And I zoomed in all the way to this corner. 3 o'clock right in the morning. And I think this looks like a face. Some people that I've asked don't think that looks like a face. I don't see one. I see like there's the nose, mouth, chin. That could be like hair. I'm looking at it sideways though too. And there's also ways yeah. to analyze when you get photographs like that, just yeah. to make sure that it's not a trick of the light. Can't. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to send that matrix. to me, if you already have my phone number, just text it and mm -hmm. I'll send you the analytics back and say, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, people send me photos all the time. Um, so if I can't figure it out, I can usually go to my wife and she went to the school for photography and graphic design, so she'll tell me if it's a trick of the light. Mm -hmm. Cause I know like the window, that was a window, like it was a backdrop with like a black tarp and I couldn't see any light in the room. So I mean, I'll send it to you. Yeah, send it over. I'll run up through some analytics tonight. Mm. Yeah, a little bit of a weird spot back there. Yeah, so I'm seeing if it's moving, but sure. this one, this one it, is interesting, but I haven't, now it's, it now it's gone. got a lot of layers in there so it's always hard to tell if you if you're capturing anything or not because there's so many layers inside of a cemetery. Alright. Oh, we're back. It's back. Yeah. Alright, looks like this tour may want to come over here. We're gonna move down by this fence so I can explain the last two stops because they are a little on the weird side.